This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 405 pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Darius and Dante Martin, Top Flight. Team Top Flight, Airwolf, Angel Dorado, Darius, Dante Martin, two brothers trained by a man with one of the best right hands in the business, Eric Cannon, but talking about powerful right hands. Anthony Agogo joining myself and Taz here at the commentary booth. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here, Excalibur. Um, Taz, you were a massive reason why I got into this business. Well, I remember. That's, uh, I, I'm, that's really awesome to hear, man. Thank you, buddy, appreciate it. And if I need you to, can you please knock out, just completely drop Excalibur? Well, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how the tonight goes. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Join the you have to switch seats. <laughs> And their opponents from the key at a combined weight of 422 pounds, Stu Grayson, Evil Uno, Dark Order. Well, Dark Order had a uh, bit of a disappointing night last Wednesday at Dynamite. Both Colt Cabana eliminated from the World Title Eliminator Tournament and Silver and Reynolds losing that number one contenders match. We'll talk more about that later, but. Right now, Evil Uno and Stu Grayson out here to try to put a smile back on Mr. Brody Lee's face, Taz. Yes, no doubt. And there's uh, Dark Order in full effect on the stage in support of uh, Grayson and Uno. And yeah, no, to your point, Excalibur, you know, you got to figure uh, Uno and Grayson are going to be completely motivated to buzz right through top flight to impress the ever pissed off, you know, Mr. Brody Lee. And Anthony, you've, uh, you know, you're. Well, a newcomer to oh, a newcomer to pro wrestling. You're, uh, you know, you've you've been at a high level competition throughout your life. Do you ever think that you might need some backup, or are you more of a go it alone guy? <laughs> no, I think when the uh, when the bell goes personally, I like to kind of handle my business myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have a big entourage of people uh, behind me. By saying that, I mean I've watched the Dark Water for months now, for years even, but. Watching those guys come out in that entrance was was eerie. Like in person, it yeah. was. Uh, they have really got some kind of an aura about them. You know? It's intimidating to your point, Liz. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, not that you're intimidated by Anthony, but I get what you're saying. There's definitely an aura about uh, the amount of men and Anna J and women that come out here. Uh, but nice drop kick right there. Uno that was trying to get on his uh, tracks here. Darius Martin, aka Airwolf, in the ring. His brother Dante on the outside. Now on the inside. Coming in and big clothesline in the corner on Uno. This is a massive star from Top Flight. You know, it's uh, they're making their debut. Yeah, yeah, AW Dark. They're um, they're making, wow. They're making the most of this opportunity. Fair play to the boys. Yeah, yeah. super athletic, super uh, fleet-footed. Top Flight. That's <laughs> a great name for them. Great golf ball brand. It is actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Uno Ouch. though. Some chop right there. Yeah, Chopping Dante Martin down and the quick tag out to Stu Grayson. Grayson, of course, goes uh, has that moniker, born and bred for combat. Somebody that does not shy away from a fight, and he's bringing Dante. Oh, look at that tag out. Yeah, quick tag, smart tag. Uh, I think Uno, I'm sorry, uh, Grayson's aware of it. Oh, he just got lit up there. Kick to the face, and oh, wow. Tremendous drop kick there from Darius, only a one count. I've been extremely impressed with Top Flight the first uh, opening minute of this match. Super athletic, Anthony, uh, and it's kind of as is Top Flight. I mean, so it's tough to prepare for athletes that are like that and their brothers, so that their synergy and chemistry is perfect. Well, except for now, maybe. But we'll we see. saw no! that, the tag team precision of Dark Order. Uno and Grayson have been partners for years. They know each other so well, and you saw it right there as Grayson reached behind. Uno was waiting for the tag. And then it came in with that German suplex. Dante Martin didn't even know what hit him. Well, to your point, that's how the experience level, the difference, you know, for uh, Uno and Grayson, and, and talk about chemistry, I mentioned chemistry on top flight, but that chemistry, all the years as a team, to your point, you know, they know where each other's gonna be at all times. Taz, and as you know better than anybody, there's nothing quite like a German suplex <laughs> to knock the wind out of your sails. Uh, no doubt, and, and you know what happened with that German, that, oh! that, oh, that Uno did. He, had, he delayed a little bit as he hit his back bridge, which is more impact on the back of your neck and head area. And right now, Dark Order in the driver's seat. Darius Martin reaching up, trying to get his way over the corner, but Grayson not allowing him, slamming him face first into the waiting boot of Evil Uno. I love Stu Grayson's intensity. Great. Whenever he's in the ring and that bell goes, he's on it from um, 100 miles an hour from the, from the get-go. I love that about him. 
completely agree. I mean, uh, both uh, Excalibur and I always sing the praises of both Evil Uno and oh, Grayson. Like oh, Preston. But Grayson, yeah, he's definitely he's uh, he's a machine there for sure. He goes nonstop as he's on the apron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even, even machines need a break yeah. every now and then. When he's legally in the ring, he's yeah, nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> Darius Martin throwing a right hand, trying to get. Over the corner, a second one. What do you think of those, uh, break down those shots for us, Anthony? I mean, they're kind of overhead shots, yeah, right? Yeah, they weren't. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, bang. <laughs> now, that's a You're shot. Yeah, that's a that shot. That is a shot. Cover, hooks the far leg. Two. He's done well to get out there because. Uh, oh, Grayson again went for the cover. And now just raining down punches. Well, Anthony, as you know, in, in, in our industry, in pro wrestling, uh, you know, there's all different types of strikes. They're, they're not, not a traditional just straight punch, right? Of course. So I'm sure you keep an eye on all different strikes you see, not just hands, but knees and feet. Exactly. And Stu Grayson, we, we, we mentioned his intensity a moment ago. He came and he dived on top of him, two or three strong forearms to the head. Um, they hurt. Mm. They hurt. And as this match goes on later into the contest, Oh, they will, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, a right hand, huh? they will leave us told like that white hand from Evil Uno. Sending a message all the way back to Indian, uh, Minneapolis, excuse me. In Indiana, it's kind of near. You, you meant to say Indiana, but you said Minneapolis, but no, I, from I, Minneapolis. I accidentally said Indiana. All right, I'm just trying. I, some, Anthony, sometimes you got to stay on top of next Calvin. He will mess up words, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've, I've been here for five minutes, Taz, and I've already, I've already seen that. Oh, God. I'm joking, big man. I'm joking. Over here. But <laughs> Darius Martin oh. opening uh, a little bit of a window of opportunity here for himself. He staggered Uno. If he can make it over to the corner, tagging his brother, the complexion of this match could change on a moment's notice. His brother wants to tag. He realizes he got, he's got to get in here. Here he goes. Dante tagged in. Oh, wait now. Coming on. Oh. Oh. Beautiful springboard. I thought he was going to kip up, but he didn't. Big nice. elbow strike, overhand. Oh, catch. Catches Grayson, rolls him out. Not sure he got all of that, but still rattled Stu Grayson. He threw the boot, Uno caught it, landed on his feet. Oh! oh, oh. Big hook kick there from Dante Martin. Yeah, high spinning hook kick, and look at this. Oh, wow! Nice. Beautiful. Tremendous torneo into the Tierras there by Dante Martin, Angel Dorado. Yeah, Dante. Extremely athletic now. His brother's tagged in. His brother's legal. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think that Grayson realizes it. Pretty sure he tagged himself in. He did. And ah. Bryce Rumsford was was giving him the count on the apron. Grayson, I don't think realized it. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Flipping oh. into the Dragon Rana almost. It's a tough landing. And now the Frog Splash cover oh, one. Big upset. Two. Big upset. No. Oh. Wow. What he had that? Could you imagine? What a night that would be for Team Top Flight to come away with a victory over Dark Order, a team that's been, you know, the top-ranked tag team at certain points of the year in AEW. Those young guys are making themselves noticed here, getting themselves noticed, I should say. They had some frustration when they realized they didn't get the victory on that, but you can't. That's when you got to follow up rapidly. You can't wait. And Anthony, sometimes if you're in there with a guy that's gaining momentum, a, a young team looking to make a name for themselves, you just got to shut them down. That. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to be the thing to shut them down. Oh! Bang. Electric chair into the power bomb. And. Oh! Oh, what a oh! knee strike. Nasty. Darius Martin was going over Evil Uno, but Grayson caught him with that rising knee. That oh. is why they've been one of the top ranked tag teams uh, all year, Dark Order. They've, been, they've got great synergy together. They're both very aggressive, got all the skills in the world. This is a pleasure to see close hands. Oh man, an assisted Tope suicided there. Yeah, top flight is in bad, bad shape. They could hardly get to a vertical base. The tag out. Uno is the legal man. He's ascending the top. Uh -oh. or, excuse me, Grayson's the legal man. Uno's got him hooked up. They're looking for it. Fatality! Forget about it. Grayson covers. It's all academic from here. Order. Well, it was a great start for Team Top Flight, but Taz, Dark Order proved just too much for these young guys. Yeah, the experience advantage, obviously, and that teamwork that Uno and Grayson are so great, as you see right here, just uh, just as just using, even Uno using Grayson uh, as a body, as a weapon, and then Fatality was just 
completely insane, just completely jaw jack in your neck and, and, uh, and your spinal cord, everything. You got about a nice win right there. But nice outing by the young guys. Yeah, there's a... Um, all right, top flight looked good. Top flight looked good, but most importantly, Dark Order looked better.